one of our problem is what? It's our conscience. We are not checking our conscience. It's as good as I've trained my conscience too. Okay. If you want to give me money, I check my conscience. I, I check my heart. If my, my heart is happy about receiving money from you, I will ask you a question. Why are you giving me this money? If my heart is happy about taking that money, I will ask you a question. Why are you giving me the money? So that you must not give me money and tomorrow you say you make me rich. That's what Abraham said. I'm a child of Abraham. These people, they will say, if now we just get everything, they will say they make us rich. And if now we declare ourselves that way, God will leave us. I mean, there are some things that look like blessing. It's a curse. You can receive money, you lose the spiritual gift. You can just get money. Somebody come and say, man of God, because that's like another one. I was with mama. A man was begging me to give me a car. I said, no, no, I don't want this car. Please, I want to tell you why I want to give you this car. No, I don't want the car. I said, no, I don't want a car. I don't want this car. No, it's Mercedes. I understand it's Mercedes, but I don't want it. Just tell me the reason why you're giving me this car. You must not just rush to take things to yourself. Check your conscience. Even when you want to go out, you are turning around everywhere. Check, question your conscience. What are you going to do outside? Window shopping. You don't have a money. If now you go around in the mall, the whole mall, you don't have money, you, automatically there you end up buying ice cream. You ask another brother to buy you ice cream. Stay home and read the Bible. Check your conscience. Don't just take everywhere and wander and become a wanderer like Satan. Let's believe that. Let's study the truth. We must not be shaken by someone who comes and say, no man, I want to buy a grocery. I mean, I, I can marry you. You become my second wife. I'm very rich. I'll buy you a house. Second wife and you're going to hell. Second wife, you're going to hell. The person is telling you, I mean, how can you be proud of your parents with someone's husband? Can you stand in the truth? We need the truth today. So I'm very happy for you have accepted Jesus today. You are going to be challenged. Somebody will just come and say, you know what? Whom, whom, what, 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 what? He began to say, hey, I don't want to gossip. I don't want what? My ear is of faith. Faith comes by? Hearing. Not by hearing gossip. If I hear gossip here, I will have doubt. Automatically, I will end up sinning. Please, I don't want to talk about people. I don't want to hear about stories of whom, whom, whatever. Please, if you come to me, let's not talk about anyone. If you come to me, I mean, you can just say, let's pray. Or you give me scriptures you have read yesterday. You are adding to my spirit. But if now you come to decrease in my spirit and you go away, I'm going to start afresh again and it will be difficult for me. This is the time now where we check ourselves in truth. God bless you. Let me give you